afternoon. It's uh, March 26th, and it's uh, 63 degrees today, and it's been a really nice day. We've had colder weather for the past few weeks, and it's uh, slowed everything down here for putting things outside. But uh, we're going to try to take some of these... Um, baby Dutch seed potatoes that we uh, we had inside and they were starting to shrivel up so we put them in these cups with this potting mix and they've been in there several weeks now so uh, it's nice enough today I'm gonna go ahead and try to plant some of them I've got nine here to fit in this planter box and uh, that's about half of what we have. I've got probably going to have to dig some more buckets out to get the rest of them planted. But uh, we're going to try to get some planted this evening before the sun goes down. Because we're going to get some nice weather this week. Only one night of cold weather. But I think they'll be all right. I've had this box covered in glass panels to keep all the rain off of it. We've had a lot of rain this week. And uh, show you how I do it. We're just going to cut a little hole here. Take the soil out. ginger root <laughs> from last year's ginger growth. That's probably about, I don't know, about eight inches, eight inches deep. That's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is Take a little bit of this uh, fast-acting garden sulfur because potatoes like a lower pH. So we're going to take probably about, I don't know, this is a tablespoon. So I'm going to take about a half a tablespoon, throw in the hole. And then I've got uh, our tomato and vegetable organic fertilizer. <laughs> I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in there. And then uh, I've got some uh, bone meal here that's got an organic source of phosphorus and calcium. So we're going to do a tablespoon of that in there. We'll stir that in really nice. This box is full of potting mix and compost and uh, garden scraps from two years ago. And then I topped it off with our leaf compost that we just picked up from our uh, city. So we're going to see if we can... You can see, maybe if I get in the sun, these things are starting to sprout above ground in these cups. If it'll pick it up. Let's see. Maybe I can get it in... So we'll see what, what we end up with. It will be real nice and gentle with these things. And I see roots. So you can see that these things are... Uh, see the roots there on the side? These are uh, seed potatoes. So they're rooting out on the side and they're sprouting out on the top. ground we'll just take and gently cover that back in there and 
There's one done. I looked at the weather and it said for the next week we're going to have some 50s and 60s for the days with more rain coming in. And uh, night temperatures 40s and 50s. One night's going to be 28. But I think we'll be all right. This box is probably, I don't know, there's eight, over a foot deep. It's probably close to, well, I think it's, uh, that's a two by six, a two by eight. Let's see what we got there. That's pretty good. That's about the same. So again, We'll do a, ta a half a tablespoon of sulfur. One tablespoon of tomato and vegetable fertilizer. We, we want a low nitrogen on this fertilizer. We're trying to make uh, potatoes, not potato leaves. And then we'll do a tablespoon of bone meal. See that? That seed potato is rooted out really nice. This is a fast start method. Uh, there's a video channel on YouTube, Homegrown Veg. He's from the UK and he does a fast start. How you can take your seed potatoes and plant your seed potatoes in some soil inside in cups. And that'll get them going a lot faster. There's actually the seed potato itself. And you can see all those, all those roots. Hopefully it's picking up. down in there the sun's to my back so it's kind of casting a little bit of a shadow so if it's not picking up I'm sorry about that I was going to do this video earlier today but it's Sunday and they were having church so kind of give them the respect it's really nice to have a church right here in our right up against our parking lot, or right up against our fence. So there's number two. And like I say, for the, for the past couple of weeks, we had really nice weather a month ago, up to 70s. And then we turned back off to freezing temperatures we had one night that uh, after I planted my onions, the Elsa Craig's and the Patterson's, we had one night that got down to eight degrees with the wind chill and it burnt all the tops off of my onions. So I had to go through there and trim off some of the tops of those that really looked bad. But they're coming back, they're doing good. And we've actually got some lettuce out here. I made another box and we planted some lettuce. So when it starts taking off, I'll do a video on that. Half a tablespoon of sulfur. Tablespoon of organic fertilizer. And a tablespoon of bone meal. When I did my video on planting these in the buckets a few weeks ago, I doubled up on the fertilizer because they were in buckets and there wasn't a lot of nutrients. I mixed some leaf compost, some other compost from the garden over here, and some old garden soil. But this bed has been amended 
heavily last year and over the winter we uh, mended it with organic fertilizer so I'm, on, I'm cutting the fertilizer down to half because as they come up, if I see any deficiencies, I can just top dress with some of this organic fertilizer and bone meal, and she should be fine. Lord willing, they make it. We, we are not out of the woods yet, but here in central Indiana, we can usually get our potatoes in the ground about the first week in April. Last year, I got some videos on my playlist where I did it the third week in, uh, the third week in March, so... Turned off nice for us, so we're going to try to get a few of these guys in here. Oh, let me stir that in. Oh, yeah, there's a nice, nice root. If it's showing, pick, pick it up. Like I say, if you want to see how to do this, the Homegrown Veg has got some really nice videos on how he fast starts his potatoes into cups. And that gives you a really nice start. And they were getting really soft, so we said we better do something with these guys. So we put them in the soil, and they took off on us. So now we can get them planted. Kind of leave it humped up there and I'll know where they're at so when I go to water them I probably that's that soil's really moist down in there when I get down about a cup steep so I'm not gonna water them until they get above ground they don't really need it what I'm not trying to do is rot these things off It's nice to finally start getting some things in the ground, even if it is in a planter box above ground. Next week, I'm going to do some videos on our Yukon Gold seed potatoes. I've got our ground covered over there. It's been covered for several months now with plastic warming up. And I've already amended the soil with my uh, organic fertilizers when I turned it all uh, over uh, to get that to the organic fertilizers, get them all broken down and ready for the plants. So we'll do a video next week. That's good. On getting, uh, on getting our Yukon Golds going. Tablespoon of bone meal. tablespoon of tomato and vegetable it doesn't really matter what you've got you don't have to use organic i just use organic because i have it uh, when i did my buckets i had regular synthetic fertilizers but we have this now it's a 364 low nitrogen uh and it seems to work well with these potatoes and then a half a tablespoon of sulfur for to lower the ph go I'm hoping it's picking up I seem to keep getting in the shadow of the sun on the tablet as you can see they're starting to get root bound they're starting to sprout out on top Kind of mash that in around the edges. And just top that off.
And since I'm only going like uh, eight inches deep, I may have to top dress them a little bit, which I've got plenty more of this leaf compost that I can just top dress them if I have to. Half a tablespoon of sulfur, tablespoon of fertilizer, tablespoon of bone meal. Maybe it's better to go to this side. Apologize again for the shadow on the video. The sun's to my back. down around the edges. Be very gentle not to break off those sprouts. There we go. Okay, we'll do one more and we'll, we'll call the video. Sometimes you just have to get in here with your hands. Didn't wear my gloves, but that's all right. Nothing wrong with getting a little dirt under your nails. See some earthworms in there, that's a good sign. Half sulfur. Fertilizer. Whole one tablespoon, whole tablespoon of bone meal. Stir it around a little bit. And you can see these fast start seed potatoes, they're doing great. Rooting real nice. Sprouting real nice. Kind of hard to see with the sun right on it. Move that over a little bit. Put that gently down in there. There you go. Like I say, I'm not gonna water them because it's real nice and moist down in there. Um, when these things come up and start doing their thing where we can see something, we'll make another video, Lord willing, they make it. That's how we do, plant our fast start little uh, seed potatoes to get a good jump on everything. Uh, 
The Lord's blessed us with some nice weather this week. A little lot of rain, but I've had it covered. Uh, and uh, we took the panels off today. The box is nice and warm. We're going to get the rest of these in the ground. And we'll, uh, we'll do an update when they start showing or showing above ground and growing. Thanks for watching.